come here in the last supper room, the place whereby Jesus before his crucifixion, death and burial, where he had to go and die on our, on our behalf, he asked the disciples to come and go and prepare the place for him so that when everything is set, he can, he can be called and the, the last supper, the moment of intimate moment of sharing. And so this is the last supper room where Jesus is said to have had, stayed with his disciples to share the meal, to listen, to listen to the word of God, and also to be fed, not only materially, but also spiritually. It was a gathering like any other Jewish family gathering, but it is from this last supper room that Jesus gave meaning to the, to the meal. Where he, where the bread they were taking became his own body, and the wine they were drinking became his own blood. It was an anticipation of what would happen in Calvary, where he would die on the cross and shed blood for the forgiveness of our sins. Where he would die on Calvary and take over everything, especially the suffering, death, and resurrection. So greetings once again from the Last Supper room here in Jerusalem. God bless you. So as you see, dear friends, we are at the entrance of the Last Supper room where Jesus, when the place was prepared and the disciples were present, he sat together with them and to eat the meal. With the meal is a moment of friendship where friends sit together and eat and they share not only the meal they are eating, but they share ideas, they share the word of God, they are enriched both in body and in heart and in soul. So as we enter, we are going to see uh, the, the, what is happening in this last supper room here. Yeah. believe that the table was around here and the disciples were sitting around with Jesus at the center and it is in this supper, last supper room that we see that Jesus shares himself he gives his own self he gives meaning to the traditional Jewish meals that were happening every once in a while around the Passover and each family even until today the Jewish families gather together as family. It's a moment of bonding, of relationship, of healing. And they gather together to eat. Even today the Jews gather together to eat in different families. The Passover, which happened once in the year, to commemorate their exit from Egypt, where they were under slavery, and how the angel of the Lord appeared to, to, to them through Moses to free the Egyptians, God's people, from Pharaoh's power. And the Egyptians who were under slavery, they pressed, pressed down. They were free because our Father wanted them to be free. Our Lord wants you and me to be free. And so, the Jews, until today, commemorate every year the Passover, that passing over from slavery into freedom. They celebrate freedom. And where the Lord had to say that night, that you have to eat, you have to prepare a lamb without blemish, to eat, to share together. And because this night, the Lord will pass over. So as you prepare the lamb, the blood will put on the doorposts of the Jews, the people of God, and not on the doorposts of the enemies. So that when the angel of the Lord sees the blood on the doors of the people, people, chosen people of God, when the angel sees this blood, he passes over the laws which had blood and saves these Jews. Whereas he strikes now the firstborn of the Egyptians who were the enemies at that time who are oppressing the people of God. And we see that passing over also through the Red Sea. When we get along after the templates, Moses guides the people to the Red Sea to the promised land here in Egypt, in Jerusalem. But before that, what is important for us is this the room of the last supper that we see where everything took where Jesus now feeds us with his own self. The divine enters us so that the people are human can be divine. It starts in this way, which was anticipated for what will happen in Calvary, where the Lord will shed his blood. And what would happen also in the tomb where he resurrects and gives us a new life. This is the Lord Jesus.
Hebrews, actually, of the last supper, then together with the rest here. So the disciples, together with Jesus, we are gathered here. And this is what we do at the Eucharist. We gather together to listen to the word of God. We gather together to be fed with the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. So three meals accompany us. The word of God, the body and blood of Christ. We thank God who chose to be present to us through the minor small little substance of the bread and the wine. Because God is so powerful that he can use it in the small things for greater things. God bless you once again and greetings from the synagogue, the place of the Last Supper here in Jerusalem. God bless you and your families and may the Lord continue nourishing your bodies, your hearts, your souls, so that you may experience his closeness because the Lord wished to be inside us. And when we partake of the Eucharist, the Lord enters us. We become that which we need. We become the Lord himself. We become divine because it was the wish of the Father that we are divine, that we become one as he truly is. We are pilgrims on this journey and thanks to the meal of the word of God, Thanks to the body of Christ and the blood of Christ, we are nourished every day to become day by day that which we need, to become the body of Christ wherever we are. God bless you once again, the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings from the Last Supper room, the center of the here, where everything happened, here, where our salvation was anticipated and shared. May we also in our families continue sharing together the needs, supporting each other, encouraging each other in our joys and pains. Amen.